anybody that wants to get alcohol can get alcohol. When people go to frats and parties like that, it's definitely provided there for you. You can get it from a keg, you can get it from anything. You go to a party and there's garbage cans full of beer. Binge drinking, constant drinking, one after another, after another, after another. They do it all the time. A lot of kids drink every weekend. It's so easy to find someone who is 21 who will gate it for you, older brothers and sisters, or I mean even just people that live right next door. I feel like students kind of just drink whatever they can get their hands on. I think kids that are underage engage in drinking simply because that's uh, often the culture of a lot of college atmospheres. I think it's just something that has been a continuous cycle over years and years and years that it's just the culture of college in many ways. Definitely underage drinking is culture. I think a lot of it has to do with kind of half the school being underage and half not and how that kind of relates people hanging out with older people and it's, be it's become something that's just a part of college. I would say at least 75% have done something, whether it's just take a shot or have drunk in a glass or a bottle or anything like that, it's at least 75%. With a lot of students, just especially freshmen coming straight from high school and home, they're excited to be away from their houses, so they're into engaging in college and they think that underage drinking is the thing to do. Underage drinking for some students see it as a rite of passage as they are moving from high school to college because for the first time they are away from their parents, they're meeting new friends, all of their social networks are gone for the most part and so that is their way of getting into new social events. I think the general college drinking culture is uh, the more the better and everybody's doing it. It's cheap, it's easily accessed and it's acceptable. It's an acceptable drug that people can get and use to excess. I think that a lot of um, college students have had underage drinks before they've been into college and I think a lot of it happens in the summer going into college because they're aware that it's going to be there on campus and so they're trying to experience it before they um, actually arrive. But a lot of um, students too do decide to drink when they first come to college and that can be a problem because a lot of um, college students don't know their limits then and they um, get in the dangerous situations where you drink too much. Health professionals on campus can promote wellness and safe activities by educating students on alcohol, um, underage drinking and alcohol problems. I think that's the most important is a lot of students come in maybe not knowing about limits, blood alcohol content, um, all the important specific little things that really do make a difference. So I think just educating them on all of those topics so they know what to do in situations if they get into a bad situation where a friend is really drunk. Because um, I know as a freshman I didn't know really anything about alcohol. I wasn't exposed to it in high school so it was something that was totally new to me. It's kind of a culture shock, at least it was for me, for the risks of alcohol and they're not aware of the large quantities or the large amount that can be provided to them. I don't think college students are aware of the risks that alcohol um, comes with. I think that a lot of colleges try to convey the risks to them and they tell you, but they don't realize like, oh, that could happen to me. I could drink too much. I could, you know, I could get in a dangerous situation where the alcohol is affecting me. And I think that a lot of students just are not really listening. I think the health side is definitely ignored. I think when they think consequences, they think of getting caught because they're underage, but I mean, obviously a greater consequence is your health and what you're doing to your body long term. I believe students really engage in the underage drinking, especially the binge drinking, because they think everybody else is doing it and informing them not everybody else is doing it. You know, the social marketing campaigns seem to work where there are also alternative activities going on at the same time. Students really engage in it because they want to fit in offer students those support, offer students alternative programs, and the information and the knowledge that no, not everybody is doing it and it's okay.
I believe that, that our education does keep the students safe. It gives them a little bit of broad spectrum. You know, sometimes this is the first time that they're actually away from home and uh, they're not hearing from mom and dad, they're actually hearing from a law enforcement officer or from a campus spokesperson about the risks and the dangers of underage drinking. As far as speaking with the parents, uh, I would encourage parents to talk to their, their students before they go to college about underage drinking, some of the repercussions, some of the dangers of underage drinking. I think as with most things with parents, they think it's everybody else is doing it but not my kids when they come to campus. So it, it, it's an issue that they are aware that it goes on, but not that their students, their, ki their children are involved in it. And that is an issue. I think parents can really uh, communicate, need to communicate with their children, realizing that their children are like other children that have the same temptation. So a lot of communication and support early on before they come to campus, um, being more open. It's not an all or nothing, being more open to the students and answer questions, answer legitimate questions that they have. I think primarily it's the parents' jobs to educate their children on the risks of alcohol, just because the parents are going to educate their children and everything else, why wouldn't they educate them in terms of alcohol, especially when it can be such a deadly thing in the end. Um, it's their responsibility to teach, you know, um, being responsible, drinking responsibly. But I also think it helps when the colleges will back that up because kids are going to be more pressured to drink when they're at college, they're away from home, from their parents. Um, but if their parents have given them the foundation for it and then the college helps to support them, I think that that overall makes like a cohesive um, environment. As adults and administrators in addressing the underage drinking uh, situation, I think we would be remiss to be ostriches with our head in the sand. Uh, mm -hmm. Students are going to drink. It's just really important that we understand that and impose on them some of the measures that they can take to be safer and be smarter and still have a good time. I think what incoming freshmen can do to prepare for the drinking culture on college campuses is to prepare themselves mentally about it and realize before coming in that it is something that really does happen and it is something that they're probably going to encounter um, within their time in college, but to set boundaries for themselves before they even go out and participate in drinking, know what their limit is and be educated on the topics in order to stay safe about it.